My name is Joe, and I'm a transportation historian. I travel all over North America, searching yards and picking locations, looking for rusty relics and hidden treasures. One thing I've learned in over 20 years of doing this, you never know what you'll find next. I know there's like. I'm like surprised even finding money left and right. It's got to be some kind of <laughs> oh, omen. Yeah, that's right. Like, I'm spending all my luck of finding the money instead of yards yeah. that are Canadian producing stuff. Canadian dime at Tom at Tim Horton. Is it Tim or Tom? Tim. Tim Horton. Tim Horton. Yeah, Canadian dime founded in U.S. Tim Hortons. Go figure. Yes. So, well, I know there's three new looks there because you can see them from the highway. Okay. So there's at least that. I don't know what else Hopefully further back, friendly. but I can't see. Hopefully it's friendly. Yeah, that too. But I mean, yeah, the last two times I've gone there and they've it's just been like just after the close, so I haven't even been able to talk to anybody, so but there's the yard right there, so right. you can see them right right beside the thing here, see? Them? Oh yeah, they're really good at out though too. Yeah, they may be, but at least they're open this time, I think, maybe. Close. Monday, Friday, 10 to 4. Are you kidding me? No, I'm sorry. No. Well, I'm going to look around this time because we're here within time. Can you do? Is it Take open? a look around. Anyway, hold on. See what I can find. This is ridiculous. So this is the third time. It was well within time, this one. And they're still not here. So, like, what the hell? Knock on the door, see. Well, someone must be there. They're putting fresh batteries in the clock inside. <laughs> Are they all right 
No, I said somebody must be at some point. I don't know. I guess. Right. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm not going in. Anybody's in there? Hello? There's another bus back there, too. I can see another one. Yep. Take a closer look at it. I mean, I can't get in there, but. Eight four two fleet number. Huh. Well, that's an answer for that middle one, the green one there. That's uh, Dayton, Ohio. I can tell by the logo on the side of it. Yeah. Like really strapped, there's nothing on there. Hard telling. There's clearance lights over there on this one too. Um, it's hard to tell on the side of that one. Yeah. That's the same phone number. Busy signal. Mm -hmm. Old Uncle Hot. You know, he ought, Get the bucket. He ought to answer his phone. He ought to, yeah. Yeah. Forget that guy. Oh, Dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'm watching it. Okay, I know. It's like I'm sure. Yeah. Are you cars coming? Yeah, you just go now. Just I'm going on. now. I'm going now. Maybe you want to have a drink there. Sure, it is. Holy crap. What was that? Good luck here. Hopefully, if we yeah. figure out where it's going. It's still an interesting turn of events. Yeah, that no, all definitely is. That was not expected. <laughs>
got some uh, Cincinnati ones in there too. Well, there you go. Yes. So, karma came back around. That there you go. Insane. Talk to the owner of Midwest. He's going to let me pull all the roll signs off the Orion 6s from uh, Albany, New York. Yeah, even the one that was in the Batman movie. That one, that's going to be epic. Because I'm looking at the sign thinking, okay, that was made for the Batman movie. Where it could did have the old a sign come from? It could have a special sign in there, possibly, yeah. Yes, it could have one that was just for the movie. Well, let's get around there. Because it would make no sense for them to take it out for the movie and put a new one back in. Put a one back in and then give it back. Right. If anything, it's got to be the one from the movie. Well, they may have just left the Albany ones in if they put up a generic destination. Oh. Um, but still, I mean, you know, it's still out of a special vehicle, too. Mm hmm So that's what makes it as well. So you said to drive around, go ahead and go over there and pull the signs and just stop in and let them know when we're done. Now, do you remember, is that, which way did we come out? Yeah, I guess this way. You go in here. So yes, the one was right over here. Yep. Last time I was here, they had RTS buses in here. There aren't any anymore. All right, so, so which one was it? This one here, this Orion and 6, the and then there. the two around the corner. Okay, yep. So you want to park here first? Um, we'll go around the corner first because there's two of them over there. Okay. So we'll start with that. And that red one, that was the one they said that was in the Batman movie. So that's really cool. And we'll be getting the roll signs out of that one. All right, so we just set up here. I don't want to go too far in case there's like nails and stuff. And we'll set up here, start pulling roll signs. All right, so we'll start with this one. It's off 2041. I'm glad there's still some Orion 6s around. So how do you do that? Just roll? Uh, just, if there's no tension, yeah, just keep going like that. And I'll start on the side signs while we're doing this. Careful, I want to fall on There you go. Alright. One down, two to go. Some more buses to go, yep. Mm -hmm. Going on to the next one now. This one's the bat bus. I don't know the fleet number on it, but I'll find out when I get inside. Oh, 2050. All right. Oh, look at that. It's been illuminated. Oh, that's probably for the rear. That's why. Okay. Put some dead rolls in there. Hang on to that. All right.
one of them. Yep, there it is. Alright. Yeah. Now I get to unwrench him. There you go. Well, that's come off extremely easy. Yep. There you go. There you go. Yep, and then there's another one on the other side. This is the fun part anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold it. Okay, you got it. Yeah, hey. I just got it like mad until it comes off. There. Yep. And then there you go. Falls open. All right. Oh, it just pops out? Yep. There you go. And then the one on the bottom. There's no uh, no extra bars to go around or anything. So once you pop the second one, it'll come right out. Yep, down there. Goes, should go straight up almost. There you go. You got it. Care for oh, it's down much easier. Oh yeah. Care for you folding it though. What? You want to fold it. There you go. And then you just uh, roll up one end, take the bar off one end. And uh... So did you see anything on there that would uh, signal... Nothing the right away. In the Batman movie? Nothing right away, but I'll mark it when I put the note on the sign um, saying that, this, that it came out of this particular one. Yeah, right. Yeah, now I gotta watch the movie. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the sign. Oh, goodness. That's a heavy one. And the schedule, too, on it. And on to the third one. Alright. I think we got Metro bus on the side of there, too. Hey. Does that look good? Yep, perfect. Right, that's the last one there, and then we'll be done. Get the uh, sides or the roll sends off that one too. Put a zip tie in there to hold it in place. Baby, I think you need to come off. Okay. I thought you need to come off. Messed up, huh? Yeah, it's almost done. This is a good title, this one. Yeah. Or something right at the beginning, so it came right out. I got this one from. Yeah. Oh, we're almost done. These ones are older. I noticed when I was pulling them out, they got an older date on them. It looks like. At least the uh, the root number one did. Not. Yeah, it's on with the claws. There you go. Yeah, cut in the... There you go. And then I got in the middle there too. Yeah. 
So here's afraid to use a little pressure on that one. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. We're done. Good job. Okay, got the last of them all three set. Got all three sets of signs, and I gotta head up front. Let them know that we're done. We're done. Back up front. Wow, this is. I got a field day in here. I'll tell you what. Look at all these. Let's just get the whole deal in here. Trolley. That's Grand Rapids. I don't know what the trolley one is. There's more smart. More, uh, what do you call it? Oh, that's a Gillig BRT. I'm surprised they have one in here. Those are pretty new. That's Milwaukee. 4382 40, there. That's Milwaukee. Yeah. These sort of purple and blue ones there from uh, Cincinnati. I'm not sure what the 010 is. I'd have to look that up. 419 almost looks like Golden Gate Transit with that color scene. I'm not sure if that's what it is. How did the numbers tell you where they're from? Oh, it's Mata. That's um, the numbers of the fleet numbers. Yeah. It's the color schemes I recognize. Mata is. Um, what does that? What does the number tell you? What's the fleet tell you? Well, it's like a major. just yeah, it's just the, the number in within the fleet of the buses. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of systems, what they do is they uh, number it based on the year that the vehicle was purchased. So, like for instance, three twenty one there maybe I don't know for sure, but maybe uh, two thousand three built bus. Yeah. Or like if it had O three two one, or the first two digits are the. Uh, the year and the second two digits of the number in the fleet. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll head back up. Let them know we're done. No charge, all for free. My favorite price. Nine roll signs for free. Yep, my favorite you price. You gotta have them. That is awesome. And there's at least two generations within those because the last bus that we pulled them off of looked like they had older dates on them too. So and the bat bus. And the bat bus. Yeah. Which we need to Google. Yeah, so we're gonna have to find that out, research that. Well, like anything else, I do research it, find out what's going on with it, and compare it to the compare it to the others. The videos and the pictures we took of it. Too. Yep. Yeah, that was a twist when he was just going to show us the bus. We didn't even know that there was any roll signs left in it. Yeah, because like and he said, the last. We found Two other ones, uh, one after that. Yeah, the original one and then two more when he showed us the bat bus. Mm -hmm. So three sets of roll signs. Those were the last three that were in there too. Because the last time I was here, um, they had probably about, I'd say about a dozen of them or so. So they had quite what a few. Uh, I'd have to look at my photos, but it was over a couple of years ago anyway. And now with there only being three left, that's probably the last three Orion 6s that they'll ever have because they're well out of production now too. So there's, you know, that's like the last of the last. Well, thank you Midwest Bus Corp. You guys are awesome. Yep. Thanks guys. The right place at the right time meant to be. Forgetting those roll signs. So you have a good mood or anything like that. And, you know, I guess, well, because back then, when I was there before, they had a lot more with the roll signs. So maybe back then they didn't know what they're going to do with them or whatnot. I seem to remember them saying that they didn't fully own them yet either back then. Now that I think about it. Um, so maybe that played a factor in it too. If they own them now, then they right. have the, the ability to make that decision. You know, nothing these days is roll signs. Everything's electronic. So that's probably why. But like I said, the right place at the right time is meant to happen. And for the best price in the world, it's free. Yep. <laughs> Read all the 